hey stars welcome back to our channel it's your girl solis ojotley if you're seeing this channel for the first time you're welcome to join this lovely beautiful community of stars please click the subscribe button okay guys in today's video i will be filling out the nigeria international passport guarantors form now i've made series of videos from how to get your nigeria international passport at a cheap rate to everything you need to know about nigeria international passport guarantors form and the guarantor itself like i've made series of video i'm going to put them in the link i'm going to put them also in the card and i'll put them also at the end of this video so you can go back and check it but in today's video i'm going to like be filling out the guarantors form this video was highly requested by so many people so many stars requested for this video they want to know how to fill out the nigeria international passport guarantors form so one of our subscribers volunteer to give us these guarantors forms to use as an illustration so shout out to him i'm going to just take time to fill these guarantors form step by step and i hope that you enjoy watching so without further ado let's get into it already if i want to fill like a form online what i normally do is to go online and just search um fill pdf online and it will pop out like this and then i click ok and i'll just go to this free pdf filler and use it to fill the form so i'm going to upload the guarantors form here it's already here so i'm just going to upload it yeah so once you print out your guarantors form your name will be on it your gender will be on it your date of birth your state of origin and occupation will be on it like the details that you imputed in the original form that you filled online before you got to the stage of printing the guarantors form i'm going to blindfold this i'm going to blur it because i do not want to expose the privacy and personal data of this um subscriber that volunteered to give us this guarantors form to use as illustration so i'm just going to be blurring it so his details is not exposed online okay so here we have the guarantors passport photograph so what your guarantor is supposed to do is that they are supposed to give you one of their passport photograph you must ensure they sign at the back of the passport that they are going to give to you let's go ahead to feel like the rest of the form so note guarantors are warned that any false declaration on this one will attract severe consequences which may include prosecution so this form is to be furnished by applicants for nigeria passport so uh, we have part one which is particulars of guarantors to be completed in block letters so now i'm just going to use myself let's assume i am the guarantor so i'm going to be filling my details here so name i'm just going to fill my name so it's ojotule profession let's say content creator business address i don't have no business address so i can say new and if you have a business ad uh, address you may want to impute it here then residential address i could just say um jerry ikeja lagos i can impute you can impute number like details of your address in it okay um okay let's say eight Sax streets jerry ikeja lagos uh -uh, what's a good <laughs> street for you <laughs> so another thing is that you're supposed to like declare your assets so cash available how much do you have let's assume i have the sum of fifty thousand naira if you have more than this or less than this make sure like you tell them the assets that you have okay and then um names and address of bankers let's say my bank is first bank in let's say um victoria island or where let the branch that you open the bank or let's say ikeja first bank ikeja 
Allen Avenue, Ikeja. Okay, then houses. Do you have house? If you have houses, you can say two houses in you can write the name of the place but me as a guarantor that i am now i don't have any house so i can just say new other assets which other asset do you have i don't know don't have houses and all you can just say maybe virtual assets stocks crypto <laughs> laptop phones and if you don't have any valuable assets it's just you can just say new but let's just leave it as maybe stocks okay then we have part two to be completed in case of all applicants proceeding over six except those sponsored by the federal or state government let's say you are even filling this form when you are not even sure of the country that you are going to but you can as well just claim faith and just put something here and pray on it so let's say you you are make maybe getting this international passport for the case of study because you intend to study so you can just choose any country and just feel and hope it comes true <laughs> i as guarantor so it's obviously Mm -hmm. Nationality Nigerian Profession Content Creator Full Address What was the first address that I put again? 8 Sachs Street, GRE, Keja, Lagos it's Sack Street, GRE, Ikeja, Lagos. Do hereby solemnly and sincerely declare and say as follow that name of applicant. So, what's the name of my applicant now? Oluwafemi. Johnson <laughs> is my applicant for the day. Is proposing with my full knowledge and consent to proceed to. Let's say Johnson does not even know the country he's going to yet. He's not even sure of anything, but he wants to get an international passport. So let's say Johnson is hoping to study in the UK. You can just say consent to proceed to United Kingdom. Mm. Okay. So we'll proceed to the next part of the form, which is part three. So here also you have your names filled on it already: full name, gender, date of birth, country of origin, state of origin, occupation of the applicant. You already have like the details. Whereas Oluwafemi Johnson of where does Johnson live? Of Oshodi or your state? Hereby refers to as the applicant wishes to travel outside Nigeria for the purpose of study. And whereas the said applicant has applied to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, herein after referred to as the federal government, for a passport to facilitate this journey. Now, therefore, in consideration of the said passport by the federal government to the said applicant, I, so let's or just lay, Sachs Street GRE Lagos 
Ikeja Lagos, my address again. So you can either use either right on print or signature, or you can use the boat. I used my guarantor used this signature. He never used this, but you can use the boat if you wish. Yeah. Then let's sign. Okay. Sign. Where is my signature? Okay, here is it. Sign. Then, and these are the things that are required of your guarantor. One passport photograph of the guarantor's photocopy of the data page of the guarantor's current international passport. So your guarantor is supposed to make a photocopy of their data page and give it to you data page of the passport is the place that has your um your picture the guarantor's picture on it and then photocopies of the following guarantor's document the person is supposed to give you national id card photocopy and driver's license photocopy but if the if the guarantor does not have national driver's license it's okay it's not everybody that drive but they can give you just national id card Okay, so here you are supposed to take to court. That's the place they are supposed, the court is supposed to sign for you. So sworn by, let's say, High Court Ikeja Registry. They'll put it there. They'll put the dates and the signature of the commissioner for oaths will be here. And then they are going to put a stamp anywhere close to that place. This is how to fill it. And that's it. That's how to fill the form. If you have any question, please leave it in the comments and I will attend to it. And of course, please hit the subscribe button, like and share this video. And also leave a comment to boost this channel, support this channel, support our channel. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching and I will see you again in our next video. Keep shining. Goodbye.